So let's take a look at the integral of cosine cubed x dx. Now there is not really a way you can do u sub at the moment, but there is a way you can manipulate or change how the equation looks. So I'm going to rewrite cosine cubed x as the integral of cosine x times cosine squared x. Since cosine times cosine squared is cosine cubed. And recall that um, using trig identities, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So we can say that cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So I can substitute that in for cosine squared x. So we get the integral of cosine x times 1 minus sine squared x dx. Now what I can do is distribute that cosine x. So we get the integral of cosine x minus cosine x times sine squared x dx. And there is a minus sign subtracting those two terms. So we can actually split up the integral. <clears throat> so we can say the integral of cosine x dx minus the integral of cosine x times sine squared x dx. Um, this one's pretty easy because we already know the integral of cosine x is sine of x. So we can write sine of x minus the integral, let me rewrite the integral of cosine x sine squared x. So now we can use u substitution because if I make my u, let's just put it off to the side here, if I make my u equal to sine of x, then du will be cosine x dx, and that would make dx equal to du over cosine x. So now when I plug that in, sine x minus the integral of cosine x sine squared x. Actually, sorry, we already said sine x, we already said u is sine x, so we get cosine x times u squared, or sine x squared, multiplied by dx, which is equal to du over cosine x. Now we can see that the cosine x's cancel, and we're left with sine of x minus the integral of u squared du. And now we can just use the power rule, where we add the power by 1 and divide by the same power. We get sine of x minus u to the 2 plus 1, which is 3, divided by 3. <clears throat> so if I can squeeze in the final answer here, we get sine x minus u, or u is sine of x, to the third power over 3, and since this is an indefinite integral, we need plus c. Now let's take a look at the integral of x over the square root of x plus 1 dx. So obviously we can't use u sub because it won't cancel out anything. But what I can do is make u equal to the square root of x plus 1. And now what I'm going to do, instead of uh, looking for du, I'm actually going to solve for x. So if I square both sides, u squared is going to be equal to x plus 1. And then x will be equal to u squared minus 1 if I subtract that 1 over. Now what I can do is find what dx equals. So now I derive x. x is already equal to u squared minus 1. So dx is going to be equal to 2u du. Now what I can do is plug it back in. So, so everything, everywhere where it says x, I'm going to plug in u squared minus 1. And where dx is, I'm going to plug in 2u du. So I'm going to get the integral of u squared minus 1 over the square root 
of u squared minus 1 plus 1, since x is equal to u squared minus 1, and we have a plus 1, and multiplied by 2u du. So then I can evaluate this a little bit further, and I get the integral of u squared minus 1 over the square root of the negative 1 and 1 cancel, and we get the square root of u squared times 2u du. Well, the square root of u squared is just u. So we get the integral of u squared minus 1 over u times 2u du. And on top of that, the u's will cancel as well. So now we get the integral of u squared minus 1 du times 2. Let me just rewrite this. Times 2 du. 2 is obviously a constant, so I can take that outside the integral. So we get 2 times the integral of u squared minus 1 du. And this is pretty simple. Um, we can just use our power rule here. So the u squared, we add 2 plus 1, so add the power by 1, divide by the same power, so u cubed over 3, minus the integral of 1, the integral of 1 is just u, du goes away. So our final answer is 2 times, and we can substitute our u in, so u is obviously the square root of x plus 1. So the square root as mentioned up there. So the square root of x plus 1 to the third power over 3 minus the square root of x plus 1. And we cannot forget the plus c.